What's up YouTube? Today I'm doing Nando's chicken on the Somerset Grill. So first up I need to make a marinade for the chicken. I'm going to roast, say roast, char grill, two peppers and two red onions. For that, I'm just going to stab a prong for a barbecue and then just turn it over the gas flames until it's charred and then I'll set aside for stick blending. So I'm just going to hold it over the flame until I get some char marks and the beauty of it being on a spike you can just turn it and rotate it so you can get all edges covered. So I'll get some nice smells as you can see it's becoming nicely charred and just turn it keep turning it around until you get the char that you want. So that's the first onion chard, got a nice bit of charring on there. So I'm going to set that aside. Next up, I'm going to char the peppers. There it goes. <coughs> you start hearing some crackling. So this is the level of char I've done for pepper one. I'm going to try and get the same level for pepper two. So whilst the other peppers finishing charring, this one was cool to touch, so I've just chopped it up. I'm going to chop it up a tiny bit more, uh, and then I'll chop up the onions, and I'll leave the last pepper that's charring to cool, and get that chopped up as well. So I've completed charring the veg. Time yeah. to get it stick blended. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I couldn't find the attachment for the stick blender. But I found the wife's soup maker, it's got a blend function, so I'm going to give that a go. Okay, so soup machine doesn't work, trusty blender will. So I blended up my peppers and onions, I'm going to add and get in. Close the garlic. You want a half a cup of lemon juice squeezed in there. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Teaspoon of pepper, about one and a half teaspoon of salt, some paprika smoked, some bird's eye chilli pop, these are the legit dried African bird's eye chillies, piri piri, so we're going for a small, about ten of those. Lastly some oregano, let's get that blended so it's nice and smooth. Next, transfer to a medium saucepan and simmer with some bay leaves. <laughs> you gotta leave the bloopers in, haven't you? So after 20 to 30 minutes, to take, turn off the heat and leave it to cool to about warm. Because you can be put it back in the blender with some more ingredients. So to finish the sauce, now it's cooled. And we're going to blend in the zest of a lemon, quarter of a cup of lemon juice and then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar and then blend that up and then we're going to slowly incorporate some olive oil, half a cup. Well, that seems to have worked, that is looking smooth, very very smooth, definitely going to be paintable onto the chicken and use as a marinade. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave it to uh, sit for a little while whilst I prepare the chicken. So to prepare the chicken we're doing a spatchcock as I mentioned earlier. I'm going to take the spine out and then crack the breastbone I think it is to flatten it out. I'm going to get the um, vacuum sealer and see if I can vac pack it because time's getting on. It's quarter to two now so I want to get a little bit of a marinade in there. Uh, marinade done, sorry. So yeah, <clears throat> actually I need to give it a taste, don't we? Alrighty, so that's the consistency. Beautiful. Oh yeah, very nice. Super lemony, fresh, beautiful. Very similar to the medium Nando's, but without all the extra salt. And preservatives and all that stuff because it's all fresh ingredients. <laughs> 